Watch this video to get a quick overview of key areas of security and cost optimization in reliable web apps, best practices and demonstrations for building robust, efficient and secure web applications, cost optimization and order scaling techniques to handle varying loads effectively, and how to leverage Azure services for enhanced performance and security. Let's get started. As discussed in our first video, the reliable web app pattern is our recommended approach for Java web applications. This pattern, rooted in the well-architect framework, focuses on reliability design patterns and minimal code changes. In this session, we will delve into how the reliable web app pattern utilizes role-based and ingress security to create a robust and secure application. Additionally, we're going to explore cost optimization strategies to help you lower costs and plan for future growth. So security is the essential first step in building reliable web applications. It protects against data breaches, ensures data integrity, and maintains data availability. You know, the key areas of security, there's only three. There's confidentiality, integrity, and availability. What does confidentiality mean? It, it means protecting data from unauthorized access ensuring that sensitive information remains private. Okay, what about integrity? Integrity ensures that data is accurate and trustworthy, preventing any unauthorized modifications. And finally, availability. This ensures that applications are always accessible, even in the face of disruptions. These principles are crucial for maintaining a secure and reliable web application. Next, let's see how our reference architecture in the reliable web app leverages these practices. So let's see how our architecture ensures confidentiality, integrity, and availability. We've got our nice little diagram here, and we can see that first, the traffic goes through the Azure DNS and is routed via Azure Front Door, which works with Azure Web Application Firewall. This setup keeps the traffic secure and balanced, protecting confidentiality and integrity. Next, Microsoft Entra ID handles identity management, making sure only the right people have access. This kind of helps maintain data integrity. Sensitive information is kept secure with Azure Key Vault, adding another level of confidentiality. When requests reach the app service plan, access restrictions block unauthorized public access, further ensuring integrity. Finally, our application logic runs on Azure App Service, which guarantees scalability, reliability, and ensuring high availability. So next, let's explore you know, this reference architecture and how it actually physically employs the four key security pillars, managed identity, identity-based authentication, secret management, and endpoint security. So managed identity, in Azure allows secure authentication to services that support Azure Active Directory without storing credentials in your code. So in our setup, a system assigned managed identity is configured for the Azure App Service. This is done in the Terraform file before the installation, and it automatically creates and manages this identity. And once set, it provides a secure way for the App Service to access other resources. This setup ensures that the app service can securely interact with resources like databases and storage accounts without exposing any credentials. Next, identity-based authentication. And this is when it ensures that only authenticated and authorized users and services can access resources. We use Active Directory for this purpose. And in the Terraform file, we define the Azure AD application, service principles, and role assignments, roles like account manager, L1 support, and business owner are created and assigned to users. This enforces role-based access control, ensuring that only authorized users can access specific features or data. Secrets. Managing secrets securely is crucial for protecting sensitive information like connection strings, API keys, and passwords. We use Azure Key Vault to store and manage the sensitive information securely. Now in the Terraform, we are configuring the Key Vault with role-based access control, 
private endpoints and diagnostic settings to ensure secrets are stored and accessed securely. Details such as the key vault ID and URR are provided in the Terraform files and also deployed when we deploy our architecture. And this allows other services to securely reference the key vault. So how do we actually secure our network endpoints? Now, finally, securing network endpoints is essential for preventing unauthorized access and protect data in transit. Now, private endpoints are configured for both the Azure App Service and the Key Vault. These private endpoints ensure that network traffic between these services and other Azure resources does not transverse the public internet. No, 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 not good. Network access control lists are set up in the Key Vault's Terraform module to ensure that only authorized networks can access the Key Vault. Now, it's important to note that the private endpoints in network uh, control lists are only activated for our production environment. The reference architecture you saw is actually the development environment. If you want more information on the production environment, you can go to our Git repo and see the install instructions there. So this setup ensures secure communication in production while allowing more flexible access during development. So we've done the four pillars. Now we also need to address cost optimization, which is our next section in this video. Cost optimization is essential for managing expenses efficiently. And you know, we'll differentiate between development and production workloads because you know, showing code examples, and we've seen them where the variables are set, compares the production and development environments to highlight how you can optimize cost in your different environments. Let's give an example and it will kind of clarify it. Using cheaper um, environments for development while maintaining performance. So the reference example uses the same infrastructure as code templates for both the development and production deployments. The only difference is that a very few variations to optimize costs in the development environment. So we can see there on the screen here, we see that the development environment is slightly lower performant than the production environment. And the option exists to still use the cheaper development environment for Azure Cache, for Redis, App Service, and Postgres. And at the same time, looking at this table here, it really allows you to manage expenses efficiently. Lastly, let's demonstrate how to set up a order scaling to achieve cost efficiently. Now, order scaling helps manage resources dynamically based on demand, ensuring that you use only what you need. This helps optimize both performance and cost by adjusting the number of instances according to CPU usage. And we can see here on the screen here, we have our setting uh, set up for uh, auto scaling for development and for production. And those are actually set up in the Terraform file. And once we deploy that, we get um, the order scaling already set up. So ordering scaling in our architecture allows the application to automatically adjust the number of running instances based on demand. This is managed using Azure Monitor's order scale feature, which is defined in our Terraform configuration. In our setup, we have a default profile that specifies how to scale the application based on CPU usage. For instance, if the CPU usage goes about 85% for more than five minutes, the system will add more instances. Conversely, if the CPU usage drops below 65%, it will reduce the number of instances. This screen capture demonstrates this by showing the current auto scale settings in the Azure portal. I simulated a high load to trigger auto scaling, which increased the number of servers to six. Don't worry, I brought them down afterwards. This illustrates how Azure handles varying loads by automatically scaling the application up and down. So let's recap what we've learned. Azure Security offers a robust foundation with minimal code changes, ensuring smooth modernization. Auto scaling enhances the security by maintaining optimal resources to handle varying load, preventing potential vulnerabilities. By adopting the reliable web app pattern, you set yourself up for success when replatforming to Azure. So you can get started now on the reference application on aka.ms forward slash EAP forward slash RWA forward slash Java. Don't miss the next session in the series on performance.